This news update is brought to you by... Got kids? Then you need video on demand from Flo with hours of entertaining shows and movies for boys and girls of all ages. There's always something to watch. Simply press the VOD button on your Flo remote. This is how we do TV. This is how we flow. A happy new year to you. This is the Barbados Today Afternoon Update for Monday, January 4th, 2016. Thanks for joining us. I'm Fernella Wedderburn. The psychiatric hospital records a decline in the number of admissions for 2015. What of this from director David Leacock, who tells Barbados Today there has been a 4% drop in the overall population during the past year. He also revealed that the number of patients entering the hospital for treatment for the first time is down by about 15% and he's hoping that this trend continues. We didn't um, set a specific number. We want to bring our numbers, but we are looking at this trend. It was like 20 to like 30 at the beginning of the year. Uh -huh. We were looking to bring our numbers at the end of this year. Those were 500. So we adjust the whole thing because they were 500 to 505 on average um, at present. Meantime, the SAVE Foundation, one of the major organizations established to fight domestic violence, says an increasing number of women are seeking help in escaping abusive relationships. Last year alone, the foundation recorded a sum of 1,500 calls to its hotline. And chairperson and founder, and founder Liesel Daisley, says this represents a slight increase in battered people crying out for help. Uh, more and more every year, we see more people coming forward for help because we've been doing so much um, advertising and sensitizing people to the dangers. People are feeling less and less um, hesitant and embarrassed about coming forward. So I would have to say yes, we've seen a steady increase in the number of calls and the number of people that are requesting help and support. A 38-year-old St. George man has been slapped with two counts of rape. King Charles Vaughan Maskell is expected to appear in the Oystens Magistrates Court today to answer those two offences as well as a robbery charge. Maskell of Drax Hall Jump, St. George, allegedly committed the offences in two different parishes, St. John and St. Philip, last month. Also expected to appear in the District A Magistrates Court today are three men on 10 charges in connection with last week's shooting of a police officer and a drug bust. 19-year-old Shakir Deshaun Worrell of Well Gap, Kayville, St. Michael, 18-year-old Javon Jerome Joseph of Well Gap, Kayville, and 20-year-old Shem Dario Jackman of Bristol Road, Kayville, are charged with wounding with intent. Two counts of use of a firearm to endanger life, Cultivation of cannabis, possession, possession with intent to supply, trafficking, possession of a .22 firearm, possession of two rounds of ammunition, possession of a .45 firearm, as well as endangering life. They were arrested last Thursday following last Wednesday's drug raid in Story Gap, Codrington, St. Michael. Shadow Minister of Education Edmund Hinkson makes another call for the sector to be reformed. The St. James North, a member of parliament, wants to see a new focus in the education system on business startups. He made the comments during Sunday's constituency party for children and their parents. We need, in our opinion, to create an environment whereby the youth have greater self-esteem, greater self-confidence, and they have now where they believe that they can go into fields creating their own employment and employment for other people rather than graduating, for example, from university or, or from uh, BCC, other tertiary institutions with many much, much degrees, but still looking for jobs in government or in the private sector. But to do that, the government, of course, needs to create an environment where we just don't talk about developing Barbados in terms of science and technology and STEM, but we act in that regard. We therefore need, of course, more specialist teachers in those areas, in the primary schools. We need to create a hub for entrepreneurism from very early um, in the age of our children. Peter Ram cops the Entertainer of the Year Award at last night's Barbados Music Awards. Other winners at the 11th annual BMAs were international recording artist Chantel, who was presented with the BMAs Diamond Award, and international superstar Rihanna, 
who was also in winner's row. The Red Boys walked away with Producer of the Year Award, while Best New Artist went to Electric Twins. <laughs> There's regional and international news after this short break. Secure your future, be financially strong. Since 1983, we have been there for you. A smart range of products, great tax benefits. We have a solution to your hopes and your dreams. The Barbados Workers Union Cooperative Credit Union. The Barbados Workers Union Cooperative Credit Union. We pick up with news from our regional neighbors. A commission investigating disputed presidential and legislative elections in Haiti says the October vote was stained by irregularities, but it did not indicate the problems were serious enough to affect the outcome of the vote or force further delays. As such, it has recommended that the second round um, of runoffs should go ahead as planned on January 17. The people of Haiti are choosing a new president to succeed Michel Martelly. And over in Venezuela, opposition lawmakers choose a veteran politician as the new head of the country's legislative body. 72-year-old Henry Ramos Alup will be the first opposition politician to lead the National Assembly in 16 years following a landslide victory in legislative elections on December 6. The newly elected lawmakers will take up their seats tomorrow. On the international scene, Prime Minister David Cameron has described as a desperate stuff a so-called ISIS video featuring a man and a young boy with British accents. He said the film, which purports to show the killing of five men who ISIS says was spying for the UK, is from a group that is losing territory and increasingly losing anybody's sympathy. The UK's intelligence agencies are examining the footage. And finally, at least nine people are dead after a 6.7 earthquake shook northeast India. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, the quake struck near the Mayanara and Bangladesh borders, sending shockwaves across the region. And that's our Barbados Today afternoon update. But for the very latest, visit our website at www.barbadostoday.bb. Also, subscribe to our e-paper, our email updates, and like us on Facebook. We're also on iZoomi Media in bus terminals or screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you, as well as Channel 101 on Flow TV and Mix 96.9 FM. There you can get all the latest news and sports. I'm Fernella Wedderburn. Good afternoon.